Hello, you're watching Telecom TV. Today I'm joined by Sheldon Yao, the CTO of Hong Kong Telecom, also known as HKT, to discuss the operator's journey towards the evolution of 5G. Hi Sheldon, thanks for joining us. So, what is the 5G development progress of HKT and what is your strategy for 5G? HKT started to uh, develop our 5G in 2019 and today we have already built a 30 wide 5G coverage in Hong Kong. So we use all the frequency band that is capable for 5G. Like we have 700 MHz, 2100 MHz, and also we got C band and millimeter wave in operation nowadays. So our strategy is to build the best network in Hong Kong and probably in the world so that to provide a very good 5G, 5G experience to our customer. And what are HKT's challenges on the way of achieving 5G business success? 5G, uh, for all the new 5G uh, network developer, so we, are, we have to face the uh, initial problems is the initial investment, how we can be paid back within a uh, limited time so that we can continue the investment in different technology and different frequency band. So in order to make the uh, business success, so we need a very good uh, broad plan for the 5G. So initially, so we have to think which uh, spectrum and in which area we should in to start up our 5G rollout. So we need to have a clear rollout plan down the road so that we can uh, gradually build the network. And also when we have the new 5G coverage, new 5G um, carrier deployed, we need to work closely with our um, business department so that we can sell the 5G network to our customer timely so that we can ensure the payback can be accomplished within a very short time. Given the complex scenario in Hong Kong, what is your strategy on the deployment of 5G and how has it contributed to the business success of 5G networks? If we want to have a success 5G network, first of all, we have to uh, resolve is the investment issue because uh, all the uh, 5G operators initially they have to answer the question is whether the investment can be paid back. And so for the technical team and the commercial team, they all the operators have to work together to ensure this uh, loop can be closed effectively. So in the past few years, when we start to deploy our 5G network, so we have to separate the whole rollout uh, plan into different phases. The initial phases is the tasting, let the customer to taste the network first. So our strategy is uh, to put it in very uh, lightweight uh, network uh, coverage, that level capacity, but you know, territory wide coverage uh, provisioning. So in this phase, we have basically we farm the whole network from our 2100 previously is our 3G network. And then we, we farm this part of the spectrum to 5G. So that within one year, we have already can provide a very thin coverage layer to the whole territory. And this can make sure all the customer can have, have an initial feel of what is 5G. And then, okay, and then we can allow our commercial team to start to sell the 5G service just one or two months after we claim we are, have the 5G coverage. Then the second phase uh, where we have to focus in where is the, the customer will usually go there in order to allow them to have some, most of the customer can have, have more deep feeling when they're really using the 5G in the daily life. So we select the subway. Uh, in Hong Kong, every day, uh, around 50% of the resident will use the subway. So we spend another half a year to provide the territory wide, all the subway tunnels, all the subway lines, we provide full 5G coverage. So that means most of the uh, local citizens, they can use 5G to do their day-to-day -day work, and then they can find out what's the difference between 5G and 4G, and to make them to speed up, to change from the 4G to the 5G network. And after the territory wide coverage and also the subway coverage uh, competition, we find that some of the hotspots already have some pickup of the 5G uh, traffic. So in this space, we start to roll out our um, C-band, the mid-band uh, network in some hotspots. So nowadays, uh, we already uh, accomplished 
uh, almost more than 50% of the network of, with the C-band coverage. This C-band coverage is very important because they can provide very thick network capacity in 5G and ensure all the 5G applications can run very smoothly and faster. And this graduate investment, then we can ensure we can have all the investment can be paid back within our target three years time. So after this, this phase, so in the past one year, so we already find that the 5G networks is already have some is a profitable network. So we can take a lot of uh, the, the return from the network. Now we are start to invest into the indoor system. So a lot of indoor system nowadays, we already provide with a lot of uh, uh, in, indoor equipment there. So that can ensure all the indoor, we have very good 5G coverage and also with very good 5G capacity and speed. So this uh, gradually uh, one by one, uh, phases by phases investment ensure the business can be success and the network can grow healthily. And in general, what do you think is most essential for 5G success? Also, what can HKT look forward to in the future of 5G? I think the, the 5G uh, is very important for the, not just future today, tomorrow and in the future is very important because the technology itself is a leap forward to the 4G. So in 5G, um, we promise a lot of uh, very good behavior, like we have a very high speed network, we can achieve like uh, easily more than one gigabit per second network, high speed downlink, high speed uplink. And also, um, we can provide very low latency network that can allow us to uh, start to build a lot of uh, mission critical services. And also, some promise about the MMTC, the, the, the massive machine uh, communications. And this will enable a lot of the, the whole change of the landscape of how we do business. And so, a lot of things not yet can be achieved nowadays, but Definitely, we need 5G to bring us to the destination. So how to ensure the success of 5G? Again, is the how to, we can ensure a good linkage between the network build and the commercial part. So ensure every step we move on, we need always all the people should have the key understanding, not just the business people, but also the technical team, all the members should know every sim single investment can have very good uh, effective uh, productivity or solutions to the end customer. So the end customer is willing to purchase or to use the service and we can build the network gradually and also work healthily. That's very important uh, area that we have to uh, ensure when we build the 5G network. Advantage and benefit in this area down the road. So I truly believe 5G can a lot of new advancement to the compared with the old 4G technology. So the key success of 5G, again, we need to have a differentiated network. We cannot just continue the 4G kind of a building, okay? So we need um, an even faster network. We need to provide um, the network, have a better coverage mainly in uh, the indoor area to make sure um, when we continue to evolve into the future network like the 5G advance, and we can provide the service very effectively and also very professional. And finally, can you tell us a bit more about HKT's MM Wave development strategy? Okay, so uh, we start the MM Wave uh, development in 2019 as a in Zhong in Hong Kong. So in the past few years, we already have a lot of understanding of the technical behavior of uh, millimeter wave. The reason behind is uh, I truly believe um, in the coming one or two decades, all the new spectrum will come from the millimeter wave. So all the mobile operator ha have to get um, understand the characteristic of this spectrum and then make quick use of it. So a lot of uh, very good idea, like we, we need a 10 gigabit uh, mobile network. We need to provide something like which we call it ultra reliable, low latency network or even MMTC capability. This is basic promise of 5G, which cannot be truly realized in the existing 5G network. But the reason behind is we don't have sufficient spectrum. So when we go to 5G at once, 
I truly believe we need a lot of new spectrum, new spectrum will come in and the reserve of spectrum all will come from millimeter wave. So personally, I, I think um, we need to have more understanding and invest um, more time and more resources in the millimeter wave technology in order to ensure we can be leading uh, in the coming decade. Certainly, there is a lot to be excited about when it comes to the evolution of 5G. Sheldon, thank you for sharing your insights with us today. Thanks, Yanni.